Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost video on combining ratios in order to reflect on the total possible quantity of items. Let's read the question. A bag contains jellies, mints and toffees. The ratio of jellies to mints is 2 to 3. The ratio of mints to toffees is 4 to 5. There are more than 110 sweets in the bag in total. Find the least number of mints in the bag. Now, both these ratios here involve mints, so we can combine these ratios into one, just like we have in the previous videos on this skill, in order to reason about it. So let's do what we usually do. Jellies to mints is two to three. The ratio of mints to toffees, so mints to toffees is four to five. Let's do that on a new line. And to combine these into one ratio, these parts, the mint parts, have to be the same. Now remember, we can scale ratios by times in each part by the same number. So three and four both go into 12. So to get this to the three to 12, we times it by four. And if we're timesing that by four, we have to times that part by four. And to get the four to 12, we times that by three, and therefore the five also by three. And let's do these calculations. Two times four is eight. Three times four is 12. Four times three is still 12, so that's consistent. Five times three is 15. So that is our combined ratio, jellies to mints to toffees. It's eight to 12 to 15, and we can't simplify that any further. Now we're told in total, there are more than 110 sweets in the bag. Now let's think what this ratio means. It means that for every eight jellies, you have 12 mints and 15 toffees. How many sweets would that be in total? So the total parts here, 8 plus 12 is 20, plus 15 is 35. So for each 35 sweets we have, 8 are jellies, 12 are mints, 15 are toffees. Now that means that the total number of sweets has to be a multiple of 35, because each time we have a lot of 8 jellies and 12 mints and 15 toffees, that gives us 35 sweets, and then we can add another 35 sweets and another 35 sweets, etc. And it would still be in this ratio. So, we have to have a multiple of 35 that is more than 110. Now, we could just list multiples of 35 if we wanted to, but there is a, a better way to do this. So, multiples of 35, we've got 35. If we add 35, we get 70. If we add 35, we get 105. Is that more than 110 yet? No. Uh, the next multiple 35, add 35, we get 140. Ah, now that is more than 110 sweets, so we could have 140 sweets. Um, if you want to do it in one go without writing out multiples, you can just divide 110 by 35. So if I do that on my calculator, 110 divided by 35 is 3.14. So we have to round that up, so it would be four lots of 35, which would be 140. So that means we've got at least four lots of 35 sweets. Now, if we want the least number of sweets, then we do actually want four lots of sweets. And so we want to find the least number of mints in the bag. Well, that's going to be four lots of 12 mints. So four times 12 is equal to 48. So there's 48 mint sweets.